What's up e-riders? Welcome to another vlog. As you can see, today is group ride day, it's Saturday. <coughs> and we're heading out with the first time on the Astonic bike, so we can do a proper review on it. Really curious how the bike holds up in a group ride. First thing I notice is that the acceleration is higher. That's a positive thing, it really has some kick to it. Let's see, through a puddle of water. Nope, no water on me. Now let's see when I start letting the pace drop. And then go for some, a little bit of acceleration. Here we go. But yeah, it does have some kick to it. Taking it easy for now because I'm still getting use of this uh, acceleration and this uh, cadence sensor. Obviously my own S2 has a torque sensor. And for some reason the ZX of the Nik has also a cadence sensor, but it feels completely different. So I just want to make sure that I'm comfortable and used to everything. Pretty curious what the guys are going to think about it today. Not sure how many people will turn up, will turn up today because, yeah, while well, the rain stopped only a little while ago, so I can imagine that people that had to travel further didn't feel like coming. Also, a little shout out in the beginning of the video. Be sure to follow Group Ride and L on Instagram. There's a big calendar on it with all the rides that are planned for this season. All the way until October the 30th for the special Halloween ride. Which I will be planning with my brother Aaron. We want to make it something special for you guys. Yeah, it's kind of strange how it turned from wet to completely warm now. Even riding with my jacket open because otherwise it was too warm. Also, for those of you that like my other vlogs, the, the Dutch vlogs, there will be some videos coming soon. I'm also going to experiment with doing some English spoken normal vlogs. I'm not, I have not completely worked out the way how I want to do it, but I have uh, started making plans to do it. There's also a bunch of funny challenge videos coming up. I'm trying to come up with some original ideas for the Vince Friday tutorial videos to bring them back. You can look out for that too. And maybe the coolest one, since most people watching my videos are all into tech and gear and equipment, I'm gonna be uploading a new What's In My Camera Bag 2022. Which will actually be going up pretty soon. Not sure about the day yet, but it will be somewhere within the next two weeks. The reason I waited a little bit longer is that I changed a lot of gear and equipment lately. So I want to be sure that you guys see everything that I'm actually using. And based on that you can make a decision if it's something for you or maybe not. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to appeal to my other audience as well. I know not everyone watching this channel is all into the e-bike life. Of course it's, it's always going to be a big part of the channel now since it's a big part of my life. Well, so far, I have to say the ride is smooth. <coughs> really smooth, actually. Just a little careful with the wet uh, asphalt. As 
you guys may remember or may have missed, I had a little accident like, uh, like a month or and a half ago. Also due to wet asphalt, I wiped out on the S2. Luckily with no severe damage, uh, I had a badly bruised hip. But I was relieved with that because at first I thought it was broken for sure because it really felt weird. Then when the doctor started explaining the symptoms of a broken hip, I felt like an idiot. Well, so far the bike is holding up good. I'm enjoying the ride. I really love the fact, like I said earlier, that they added these rubber flaps to prevent uh, spreading water. That's one drawback from the S2 that I've always found, that they should do more in terms of the European uses, since our climate is very different to California. But who knows, they may still be working at that. I sincerely hope so. I also love the fact that the ride height is higher than on the S2. It's like, you can see it's made for Dutch people, because on average Dutch people are taller. Now I'm not the tallest person around, actually I'm more like a, like a hobbit within the Dutch civilization because I'm not that big at all. I can still enjoy these things. For example, when I just stepped up on the bike to start riding and recording, I really had to uh, tippy toe a little bit, which was fun. So yeah, we're running a little late, but that was because I had still the gear to prepare. Also something that's really cool about the Astonic brand is A, it's made by Dutch people, so it's really homemade. And B, the fact that you can, when you order it, customize so much on it. You can already ask for different seats or battery setups. You can get like a double setup, battery setup or uh, different power, power outlets of motors. You have like the 250 watt, 750 watt, 1000 watt. Of course, 1000 watt is a hell of a lot of power. Well, so far, the riding season has been off to a good start. We've got some really fun and entertaining group rides already. The Amsterdam one, the Les Rotterdam one. There's a lot of awesome rides coming up. <clears throat> also, big shout out to the Super 73 Eindhoven squad. Especially with my friend and mate and brother Aaron, he's really focusing on bringing people together all over the country. Where I'm uh, focusing mainly on the, well, this part of the country, like Rotterdam, The Hague, stuff like that. All surrounding smaller cities and towns. But yeah, also, of course I'm gonna do whatever I can to support him. We need the community to grow and thrive. Mm -hmm. I am actually considering swapping over my frame bag from my S2 when I'm riding this bike because now I'm riding with a backpack again and I can feel it like being really warm on my back. I kind of get used to having all the storage space below my feet. But yeah, that's all for later concern. So far, uh, I'm having a blast with this bike as it is. No need to start customizing it or anything. The customizing I will keep doing on the S2. And the cool thing about this bike is, I haven't even read that, but it helps you up the hills. It will automatically kick in more of the pedal assist if when you go uphill. So it's a lot, very comfortable to get uphill. Which I really think is worth giving it a shout out if you're like, bad on condition or you really need someone that needs some help getting up hills well this may just very well be the bike for you also i'm really wondering do you just want me to do like group rides now and stuff or you also would like me to do well like uh, in the middle of the week a little ride around maybe not with that much people but let me know if you would also enjoy that kind of content because i did that in the beginning and 
I've noticed my channel taking off more since I started doing group rides. So yeah, I really want to hear what you guys uh, are interested in. I want to keep making content that you guys enjoy and are entertained by. Seems here is also some kind of festival going on. Wonderful friends and neighbors festival, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so let me rephrase that. <clears throat> like I said before, but a little softly, um, there's gonna be really cool vlogs for vacations because I'm uh, headed towards the double vacation this year. Uh, it's a little tight, but we'll manage. Three Friday now, cards. Yep. Obviously, if it's like an e-bike that isn't a Super 73, mm -hmm. give that. So I'll find yeah. information about this. And if you see another Super 73, I will. give them these because then they'll find out about that as well. What about the guy that we both saw? Is he coming? I've left his mind. Hey, you want to lead on towards your place? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So we're riding out now. Only three of us today. I love this bike, man, the power it has, the acceleration. No, I, be I believe that. Jesus. And the windshield, does that come on the bike or did you put it on there? Put it this, yeah. You see it today. Ah. On this bridge, there are cycles. Yeah. It's a Ah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can buy a digital tank that they install on it. Ah, that's nice. This one also has a special feature. When you go uphill, it will give you automatically more power. Oh, that's nice, man. So as soon as I start going uphill, the motor kicks in to help me up. I need this controller. Yeah, what? I need this controller. <laughs> well, you can also ask them how much they would charge for a bike with an extended seat on it. Like I said, if you come through me as a referral. Yeah. Well, yeah, then you can just ask them for a bare bone version. Yeah. But the other thing is the bus road. Yeah. One thing that is cool is I've seen you pedal more this time than the last ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't pedal at all. I like to pedal. This is like it. Yeah. <laughs> No? Jesus. Goedemiddag. You're going for, I don't know, five or six days jumps and I'm going to find K. One way. If you change the motor, this motor gets a five thousand. Yeah. Still it's a last key. Ha <laughs> ha 